I noticed the other day when I was trying to use my Luma phone, this was blinking red and there was no dial tone at all. So I went through all the t basic troubleshooting. I reset my Luma router or Luma box, whatever you call it. I also reset my router over here. As well as resetting my uh, modem, my internet modem. So it goes from purple to red, stays in red for a while, and then it eventually goes to blinking red, and that's it. It just stays like that for hours. So after doing those two troubleshooting things, I decided I'd try a factory reset. So they say press the trash can button and press the play button together Bef while it's blinking red or before that. So I'm trying to do it before. One thing it should do is it should, it should go give me error lights. So the timing of the red light should change, but in this one it doesn't. It just stays red blinking for hours. Uh, there's also a suggestion that when you reset your UMA Tello 2 that you should disconnect all the connections in the back. So disconnect the Ethernet connections, which I've done over here. So I gotta wait a minute. This is a little frustrating. Again, I've only owned this for three, a little over three years. So it's blinking red. Uh, none of the online instructions mention how long I have to hold the trash can and play button for, but I'm assuming it takes at least 15 to 30 seconds. I've done it as long as one or two minutes and no success. So you can see no help here. They also supposedly have a factory reset through your phone, but maybe that's just for an Uma phone. It's where you press star pound star pound 099. I think it's star pound star pound 099. As you can see, I have no luck with factory resetting it. If it factory resets, it should, they say it should turn uh, blue and red or something, blink blue and red, and then the lights will go off eventually. But I've been at this for over 30 seconds and I'm just tired of it. And try it again. No success. So, looks like I have a broken UMA Tello 2 after about three, a little over three years. I don't think I'm gonna renew. I'll probably end up getting an all behind connected to Google Voice, but maybe that's a waste of time too. We'll see. Sigh. So, oh, also. One last piece of troubleshooting that I did was I connected the side that's for the home network into my computer directly and I waited for the IP icon to show up that is connected. Unfortunately, it never connected to my, what do you call it, my, uh, my computer, so I never got an IP address, so there's no way for me to connect to this 172.27.35.1 and or setup.oma.com. So it's pretty drastic if I can't even connect my OMA into my computer. So if you're using the OMA, this one's the internet one on the over here and this side is the home so you're supposed to connect it to your home here and then connect it to your PC and you're supposed to use that IP address I mentioned just earlier and that didn't work for me so I'm pretty much toasted